Okay guys, when I was out earlier and I said I wanted to run into Target to see if they had something, it was these. So they used to sell a set of these um, watercolor gel crayons. I don't remember if there were six or eight colors, to be honest. They were pretty cheap, $2.99 or $3.99. I honestly used to buy the set, pull all the black ones out, and donate the rest. I love the black. The other colors were fine, but I love the black. I'm down to, I think I have three. I think one's in my travel bag, one's here, and I think there's one downstairs. That's all I have. At some point, I'm going to end up using them all up. Um, so I was... <sighs> Wondering if what I thought was true and they don't make them anymore. They don't have them on the website. They don't have them in the store. So if you see these out somewhere, I'll buy them from you. <laughs> I don't care if there's the whole box. I just want the black, but yeah. Um, but anyways, so I was trying some experiments with comparing that with the Black Distress Crayon, which I also have. And then one of these, which... There's a lot of different brands of these. There's the Recollection makes these. I think maybe Helix makes, they're all shaped the same. They just have different labeling on the handle. Um, this is a black one of those. And they all seem to be the same um, kind of crayon and pigmented the same. Um, so I have a bunch of different brands, but this is the only black one I have, fun fact. And this just says gel crayon. It says, um, it says something on there, but I can't read it because I don't have my reading glasses on. Can you read that? Probably not. Let me get my glasses because I don't know. Uh, you know, fun times. Okay, let's we'll see. Glasses. Um, helps if I have glasses and light. Let's see. Debbie Lynn Inc. That's what it says. Copyright 2016. Debbie Lynn Inc. Um, so I don't know who that is. And I don't know what set these came from. But there you go. Um, so I did some experiments with all three of the ones I have that are black. And sort of a watercolor gel crayon thing. Um, which I really like um, to play with. And I could use other things in its place. But I particularly like the gel crayon. This one in particular. I did three little drawings. Um, comparing um, each one of them. I did the drawings the same way with the same combination of pens and markers um, to see if I liked, if I could get the same sort of effect and be happy with one of the other crayons. The answer is...
answer is they're okay, but I still, I still like this one. So, um, I don't know. And it's up and up brand, so it's a Target brand. So I don't know who manufactured them. Um, and they're definitely, you know, a different shape than this one. And they're not exactly the same, I don't think, as this one either. And the pigment's definitely not the same. So that's not the point. Um, if you have a black water-soluble gel crayon that you like, that's well pigmented, and that some of the drawings I've been doing um, lately, um, like my lady here, um, some of the shading is done with that crayon. And I'll insert a couple more pictures up here somewhere. Anyway, the shading is done with that watercolor gel crayon, and I love the way it turns out. It's easy to use. The pr problem with the Distress one is it dries too fast before you can get water in there. Once it dries, it is permanent, and it doesn't move around, which is great, um, and you can go on top of it. However, you have to get in there super quick with this. And then this one um, is very water-soluble. It doesn't dry down. It's not permanent. I, I, neither is the Target one. If you get it wet again, it will re-wet. Um, but it's just patchy and it's not as pigmented as the Target one. So if you have a flat, uh, favorite black watercolor gel crayon, let me know what it is down below. Leave me a comment. And if you have a link, that would be great. So, cause yeah, that's a thing. I'm looking for more of these, but I can't find them.